Hello there, Shannon here with you today for an unboxing of the October 2020 Citrus Twist Life Crafted Kit. This kit is called Flourish. And let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. All right, so we'll pull it all out of here. And let's start with the pattern papers. So these are the six by eight pattern papers that come in every life crafted kit. So we have this floral with a great darker teal background there, a wood grain, love a good wood grain for a bit of a neutral background. This is white with tiny gray polka dots, which is also a great neutral background. I love the mix of patterns already. We have, this is a kind of cream color paper with 3D looking hearts that are a light yellow, maybe slight yellowish green there. Another great, this is gray with a nice little white pattern on it. Oh, this is a nice geometric pattern. It's light pink with a little bit of a, a grayish white color there. Nice and geometric. And then we have another pink with a bit of hmm, maybe like a corally orange pattern going on there. Lots and lots of color on this one. One of my favorite things about the kits is how much color they pack into them. So this is the same kind of teal background that we saw earlier, and this might be a little bit bluer. Um, but we have lots and lots of different color florals, purples, blues, oranges. So all of the colors in the kit pulled together on one paper there. This is a great teal with some little daisies on it. And then another geometric pattern, purple, with a darker purple pattern. And I love this. It could be florals, it could be animal print, it really could go either way. So we have a light, um, kind of like a lavender background with some orange and some dark pink. And then a little bit of a, a lattice pattern here in purple and orange on a cream background. So lots of great patterns, great florals, geometric patterns, um, a little mix of both. And that's the beauty of these kits is you can get a little bit of everything and it all just flows and goes so beautifully together. So let's set those aside. And we will look at the four by six cards. So this one says busy making memories. And on the back, there's some spot for journaling or a stamp. Um, you could put a photo on there. And then this floral card, again, this would make a great spot for a photo, um, for some alphas to make a title, some stamping, and then a great floral on the back. And of course the labels in every kit, one of my favorite parts of the kits to uh, pull them apart for some stamping. And then this is the three by eight bookmark that comes in every kit. So this one says everything is going to be okay and it's repeated and then a little space for his photo or journaling and then the date at the bottom. And on the back is remote happenings and how appropriate is that for this month right now? What's going on? Okay, how about the three by four journaling cards? Okay, so we will go through the A side first and then I will flip over and do the B side. So we have this great, really rich kind of green card here that says nobody I'd rather do life with than you. And I love this new slightly fancy font that has been in the kits um, and on the stamps the last couple months. This is a great journaling card, great space for a photo or some journaling with that kind of look of washi tape on the edges. This card, it resembles one of our pieces of pattern paper, but the hearts are a little bit more spaced out on it. Oh, love a good currently list. So this has a spot for reading, listening, drinking, and enjoying. Great journaling card, subtle and significant. My favorite things to document are those little moments. So this is perfect to add maybe a little photo down there um, or also some journaling about a 
subtle but significant moment. A calendar card where you can circle the month, the day, write your journaling in there. A grateful four card, perfect for the season that we are coming up on and I'm sure we could all use a little more gratitude in our life right now. Make this a priority. Great little journaling card and great little reminder card, really. And then another card that is great for journaling or a photo here for this. So let's take these and flip them over to the B side. So we have a little uh, pink and white geometric pattern on the top with room for journaling or stamping on the bottom. A great photo card right now. I always appreciate these cards because it helps me break up the colors in my um, my pages, my what it, the photos next to each other. And putting one in there puts a great white border and separates all the colors. Another great photo card, loving this. Easily be used for journaling as well. A really nice striped card. Oh, checklist, love a good checklist. That's a great journaling card with those lines already on there for you. And another journaling card that just says noted. This one mimics some lined paper. Good vibes in, bad vibes out. Love that. And then a floral. So those are your three by four journaling cards there. Next, we will go to, I am so excited these are in a kit again. So we have enamel dots. And look at these colors. You get some rich jewel tones in there. And then you also get some of the pastels. And I love just sprinkling enamel dots on a layout, on a light crafted layout. We will go to the stamp. Lots of great little sayings on here. So we have the large word flourish. We have good vibes, feeling all the feels today. Vibrant color, living our best life. Seek flourish bloom, true life story. Your enthusiasm floors me. This today, painting outside the lines. My favorite time of the year. Beauty, bundle up, little things incandescent beauty, doing good things, big things, my happy and at our table. And I love taking these stamps and putting them on the labels <laughs> um, or combining the stamps together to make some phrases, um, using just a couple of words from the stamps. So lots of great sayings on that one. Another favorite that's back in the kits this month is the tiny word stickers and I won't read all of these to you because I don't want to bore you but they're on a great pink background with that typewriter font. Um, I love taking these on a life crafted page or a pocket page and combining you know three four or five on the side to kind of make um, a little phrase down the side of a journaling card or a picture and using varying sizes so lots of ways to get your thoughts down using these tiny word stickers. All right, we have some star puffy stickers. And I actually think I just used my last star from the last kit a couple months ago that I had these. So again, lots of great colors, great rich colors in here, but still also some summery colors, which makes this kit perfect for that transition from summer into fall. Um, lots, again, the jewel tones that we have, but also a little bit of the pastels, and they just flow so nicely together. And then in addition to the stars, you see the different word circles and the hearts. So great color palette there. And of course, if you're anything like me, you use alpha stickers all the time. And so this is a really nice kind of like a dark teal color. It matches this color of enamel dots. If you can see it a little bit better, this green color. Really, really pretty color green here for these alpha stickers. Okay, and last but not least, we have the die cuts. I love the ephemera. 
I love to use it to layer on my life crafted layouts. I use it on my pocket pages. I use it on regular layouts. It's one of my favorite parts about the kit. So we have two um, leaf stems here in a great light teal color. And this looks like uh, just like a lined ticket in a nice yellow color there. This is probably one of my favorite ephemera pieces this month. This kind of um, old projector film that is a great layering piece, like a doily. Uh, a rating, rating one through 10. It's a great little addition to a page. We have a ticket that says more life, less rush. Oh, another favorite, no monkey business. You can see that being used for sure on a page about kids <laughs> or maybe some other people you know who are crazy with some monkey business. With all my heart, we have a tag about uh, dining, kind of like a restaurant tag here. Lots of florals. We have three florals here in different shades of pink, one with leaves, two without. We have, there's another one in here somewhere, but these remind me of those tickets that you take um, at a deli. At least here in the United States, we have uh, at our deli counters in the grocery store, we have tickets that you pull so you know what number you are in line. So we have one and two is buried in my bowl somewhere and three. We have a little tag with the days of the week on it. A little journaling tag. A flag that says this. A label, you are dear to my heart. We have a little tag, family fun center tag. And a flag. A label that says recorded and one that says favorite those are those phrases that you just use time and time again on your pages another tag ah, there's that number two that I was telling you about number two tag we have a tag that says us we have repeated love and an arrow with what a story. A great way to make a story stand out. Big, bold arrow. Oh, comfort food. We are getting to that season here in the U.S. where we're turning into fall and going back to that comfort food. Little tag there. This label says one day at a time. Oh, feeling groovy. Love the alternating colors on there to match the kit. Flourish. We have another floral. This is a star on the gray circle background. Wood grain label. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Another label here. We're getting to the end. A place in the sun. A little airmail label. Love that look those just happen to go together <laughs> we have a pink arrow with some graph paper on it and then shine like the stars so we'll put those back in the bowl here so we have our ephemera we have our puppy alphas our puppy stickers tiny word stickers our great stamp enamel dots some labels we have our three by four cards, our bookmark. We have our two four by six cards and then all of our six by eight paper. And that is what you will get in your October 2020 Life Crafted Kit. It's called Flourish. I hope you have enjoyed and I can't wait to see what you make.